The once comatose education system in Adamawa State is now taking a new lease of life. This is happening in just five years into the administration of Governor Maru Fintiri. In this report, filed from our studio, senior reporter Wolabi Adenusi walks us through the transformation. Before now, Adamawa State was at the bottom in the West African Senior School Certificate and National Examinations Council performances. That record lasted for a while. But the story is now different as the state sits at the second position nationally and first in the Northeast region. Primary and secondary school education is free in the state, with the state government taking responsibilities for WIAC and NECO fees. We are reviewed and harmonized education policy, where at the moment you can have a one stop shop as far as policy is concerned in terms of education. This has been able to domesticate all the national policies that are related to the sector. On its part, the State Commissioner for Rural Development says the Fintry administration has touched almost all rural communities in the state with developmental projects. One landmark project which we embarked on, which we started in 2024, is the construction of 42 kilometer road from orientation camp in Gire local government passing through Lambodo to Borong in the Amsal local government. The project is still ongoing, ongoing, and I'm sure by the time it is completed, people from that area will benefit from the gate show. In no distant time from now, courtrooms in Adamawa State will be fully digitized to meet up with international best practice. In pursuit of excellence, the Adamawa State government has prioritized modernization of judicial infrastructure, renovation and upgrading efforts at high court complexes A and B are near completion. Other commissioners took turns to reel out their achievements. For the Child Development Directorate, uh, these are, we mostly work in collaboration with UNICEF, which have enrolled 152 adolescent children into various skills acquisitions. On the first day of the event, Nine commissioners have so far given account of their stewardship, while others are expected to have their turns in the coming days.